Today, I want to talk to you about your scorecard, your personal scorecard. It doesn't have anything to do with golf, but it has everything to do what you want to do with your life. A friend of mine had shared this idea with me about seven, eight years ago, and I want to share it with you. You see, back in 2007, 2008, things weren't going so well. Real estate was bad. The banks weren't loaning money. And I was forced to make a decision. Do I stay in real estate or do I find another business that I can provide for my family? And while the rental properties were making money, it wasn't enough for us to keep going. So I started looking for different business ideas. When she shared with me her scorecard idea, I ran that against the things I wanted to do. And one of the things that she had me do was what, what she calls a brain dump. Basically, you take a piece of paper and a pencil, and in one column, you write down all the things that are important to you personally. Now, for me, I like my free time. I like to play hard. I like to work hard. Uh, I like to golf. I like to kiteboard. I like to spend time with my family. I like to work at my church. All these things were important to me, so I wrote all of those down in that one column because that was personal to me, and that's what I had a lot of passion for. The second thing you want to do is look at your family. Where are your goals for your family? What is it that you want to do? Uh, for us, we homeschool, so our, our lifestyle is a little bit different than other people. We like a flexible schedule. Uh, we like to be able to take trips um, spontaneously, and we like to go on our sporting events with our boys and dance tournaments with our daughter. So in our family lifestyle, there are certain things that were important to us that we wrote down in that column. The third thing was financially, not financially for today, but financially 5, 10, 20 years from now, where do you want to be? And that's the, that's the big question. If you're here, how do you get over here in 20 years? And so you have to have a game plan as far as how much money do I want to make? How much can I be comfortable with? What does that number look like? And, and then you figure out how I'm going to get there through your business ideas. So with those three things in mind, your personal, your family, and then your financial goals, you're able to run your scorecard against your business ideas. Now your business ideas, you, you ask these questions. Does it meet my personal goals? Is it going to allow me to do the things that I like to do with my family? When I had a printing business, I was working 60 to 80 hours a week. I knew I needed to get out of that business. It was killing me. I wanted to find something that was going to work for me in my lifestyle with my family. Um, financially, Financially, where are you going to be? I like real estate because real estate, the things that I do today are going to pay me for a lifetime of where I'm going to go from here. And so that residual income, that passive income was very important to me. Your scorecard may be different and that's up to you to decide. But what I do is I'd like to challenge you and figure out what are the things that are important to you? Is this where you want to be and is this where you're going to go? That's the tip for the week. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.